All right, hey everyone, and welcome to, I guess, the new version of Chaos Giants. They were just updated today. Their drop tables are now much better. They're still insane combat XP per hour, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill them. Um, I don't believe they will be worth it for most people, since I'm guessing if you've completed the Birthright of the Dwarves quest, which is required to get there, you probably don't need combat XP that much. But if you do, and you want to make a little bit of money on, along the way, it's not great money per hour, but it's definitely at least gives you a reason to go there, um, and want to get up to 385k combat XP per hour, um, this is how you do it. So just keep in mind, later when I'm showing the loot, I kind of do an introduction, because I was planning on putting that first that part first in the video initially but I changed my mind and I'm going to be showing you how to kill these things first and then afterwards um, showing the loot that I got but yes it is 385k XP per hour that is um, attack strength or defense or all three uh, whatever you choose for your attack style and add it along with hit points so it's very good XP per hour it's quite worth doing if you aren't 99 in your combat stats and all that so what I have in my inventory I want to quickly go over before we go in. I'm just showing you how to get there first. I have two overload flasks, two prayer renewal flasks, some super restores, and some sharks. I did not bring a base to burden. If you're going to go here and camp for a long time, um, do bring a yak or at least a war tortoise or something like that and fill it with food and or prayer. And in my inventory I have a bone crusher, charming imp, and tokel so to teleport to a bank. The bone crusher because they drop big bones and I'm also wearing a demon horn necklace because that restores prayer. The penitor because you're going to be hit doing um getting dealt a ton of damage to the penance aura is really nice it really helps restore your prayer i'm wearing full tetsu if you're wearing anything less than tetsu or torva you're going to need to bank fairly often for food because they do do a ton of damage as you'll see i also have the max cape because it has really good armor bonus and uh, glaven boots because of the range defense and six age circuit because it gives decent armor and all that but Anyway, uh, this is where you go after you've completed the quest. You just enter this cave, and here are the Chaos Giants. Um, so they do, as I said earlier, do a lot of damage because they're all aggressive. Uh, you'll see that in just a second once I move further into the cave and more and more will attack me. Um, I'm not going to pot up at the moment because I'm just here to show you guys the general idea of how to kill them. But they are weak to melee, so you just melee away with your Dragors um, or whatever you have. Chaotic Maul, Chaotic Claws, those will work as well, just not quite as well good. And they do give a ton of XP per kill. So when you're fully overloaded and when you have... Um, turmoil on you're going to be killing these things very fast and they give 2.4k xp drops per kill so obviously they are all aggressive and when they're all hitting you at once it is going to do a lot of damage so just keep that in mind and that's why i'd recommend to wear a higher tier armor here because otherwise you just won't last very long but anyway that's the general gist of how to kill chaos giants and we'll move on now um to the loot that i got from killing them for a few hours for 30 minutes. I'm not sure why I said a few hours. But anyway, time for loot. Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So I wanted to make a short video today and explain a few things. As you can see in my inventory, there is some lootage, and that's because um, today they updated Chaos Giants, the reward from the quest, the Birthright of the Dwarves, where you can go and kill them um, and possibly get some dragon throwing axes. And before today, the drops were so terrible, it was not worth going there because you just wouldn't make any money at all. Um, I had a previous video showing loot in which I made like 90k in an hour or something like that. So I only killed them for half an hour this time and this is the drops that I got so I must say they're substantially improved the drop rate from the throwing axes has been way buffed so they're way more common to get throwing axes now um, and also they drop a ton of coins and I did test out the XP rates as well it's going to be 385 K combat XP an hour at the Chaos Giants. That is with using Drygores. If you're using anything less, it's not going to be as much. But this was the gear that I was using. I was just using Tetsu and Drygores. They do deal a ton of damage. I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill them as well in just a second here. Um, but anyway, we're going to do a price check. Alright, so I'm going to be guessing that I made a bit more than 90k. And so whatever I made, all these drops, you got to remember, these are all pretty common drops. So you can expect to get about this in an hour as well. And the thing is, dragon throwing axes and offhand axes are just worth so little. I don't even know why they bothered to add them, because there's kind of no point. Um, but obviously we're going to multiply this by 2, and that's about how much you can expect to make an hour. So I got 465k, so they're about 900k profit an hour, which isn't great. 
However, the combat XP there is really, really good. Um, and if you want to get Dragon Throw and Axes just to say you got them, I guess, because they really have no other use. Um, they're just completely useless items, really. But yeah, they drop a ton of coins and they drop lots of seeds and herbs and stuff like that. So anyway, about 900k cash an hour and 385k melee XP an hour. No, I'm not kidding. That is how much you get there. That is just a ton of XP.